So you've probably seen the hundreds of different AI editors out there. You click a button and it spits out a full article for you. The problem is the content's usually pretty boring, it's misaligned with your audience, and ultimately it does nothing to differentiate you from the thousands of articles already out there. The truth is that AI has its strengths, and humans have their strengths too. So the goal of Reword is to create a collaborative environment for the two to work together to create people-first articles for your audience. Let me show you exactly how it works and how it can help you create and optimize outstanding articles. Okay, so let's get started by picking one of the ideas it's giving us for a new article. Of course, we can pick our own too. Uh, let's go for this one. So the first thing to understand is that it's important to give Reword as much context as possible about the goal of your article. Doing this will mean that the AI has the context it needs to really help out. Okay, so let's load up the editor now. So the editing experience is super similar to other tools like Google Docs. So for your writing team, it's going to be really easy for them to come in and start using Reword to write. On the right hand side, you'll have a sidebar, and this is where our AI is built a topical model for you to better understand what you are writing about. Now, truly brilliant articles start with great and thorough research. And that's the mission of this sidebar here. So for example, I can click what subheadings matter the most to my readers, and it will load up a list of recommended subheadings. So we can pick a few here that we think our audience will engage with. Now, of course, remember that this is collaborative. So while I'll be using a lot of AI here, you can also just write like normal and only use the AI when you really need it. So with the outline now, I can begin to add content. Now I hate writing intros. So what I can do is quickly click the enrich icon here and it will write an introduction for me. Now there's three different AI shortcuts that you can use. There's enrich, which will add content and it will take into account not only the article, but also where exactly it is within the article so that it writes the most contextual and accurate content. In addition to that, you have rephrase. So if I select this content now and click the rephrase button, it will actually rewrite it for me based on the writing style that it has learned from our other articles. So it's going to be familiar to our readers and also our writers as well. Another thing we can do is select the text and use the trim tool. And this will improve the word economy. And it's useful for those walls of text where we want to keep the essence of the writing and what it says, but we just want to get rid of the fluff and make it more concise. You'll also notice here it actually just dropped in a link for us. Now this is the real magic of Reword. Because it's trained on articles that you've wrote before, when it sees an opportunity, the AI will automatically link to them, like it has here for dining experience. So it helps you create not only a better article, but a better reader experience that goes beyond just the article they're reading right now. Now, one other thing I could do is use commands to get a bit more control over the output. So I can click this commands icon here, or I can do it in the main navigation up here. And so let's say we want to create something a bit more engaging for this section. So let's tell the AI to create a table comparing the different factors that matter in a restaurant's website. And we'll run this command. As you can see, it's just added in this table for us. Now, this is a great example of how Reword uses AI to create truly better content. It's more engaging for our readers and it helps our writers be able to create this type of content without it taking a long amount of time or require a silly amount of research. The kind of essence of this editor is that it brings all the information to you so that you can create it and you can apply it in the best possible way for your audience. Now, of course, I think we probably want a bit of text here as well. 
So we'll use the enrich to actually add some content here. And you can see there it's added not only the content for us, but subtitles as well. So that it's really easy for our audience to read. And the Reword AI will use people first principles when generating content. So you can expect it all to be very readable and engaging for your audience. Now I have a few things to say about this section, so I'm going to write it myself and I'll be back in just a second. So I finished writing this section and the thing is because the AI understands our topic and also our objective, it can give us research questions that we can use to become better writers. So you can see here on the right hand side, there's some questions that are related to the topic that it thinks we should look at. Uh, for example, this one, and I can click into it and get an answer. And I use this to help me write better content. I can also access other research. For example, what questions do my readers have, which can help me create more appropriate tightening based on some common questions. In addition to that, I can look at what facts and statistics are relevant. And actually, I'm going to add one in here because it's important to engage the reader with quotes throughout the article. Uh, and we'll format this as a quote. Okay, let me go to this menu and selecting it as such. Another thing I can do is if I have a specific question, I can just ask the AI. So we can use this box up here and say, what types of menus are there, for example? And the AI will come back to us with an answer detailing what type of menus there are. So this gives your writers to explore your topic straight from the editor. No more scrambling the web or creating copycat content based on other people's articles. You can use the AI to your advantage to create truly better content for your audience. I think the last thing I'll do is optimize the title. Using Greyword, you can get recommendations for engaging titles that will help you stand out in search engines. So let's have a look here. That one's a bit too long. I like that one. Taste the success. That sounds fitting. So you can see now we have a pretty good article and we can go through it as well and use commands to also optimize it. So if I select this content here and click on the command button, you will see some predefined ones, for example, resolve any spelling or grammar mistakes or improve the readability and clarity. Um, but actually, I just want an opportunity to link to another article. So I'm going to say add a natural link placement uh, and the command will run. And you can see there it's added a natural link somewhere for us that we can then add one of our other articles to. Now, this was a simple rundown of how you can use the Reword Editor to write incredible articles for your audience. And you can also collaborate with other teammates by using this icon here to share it with them. And when you're ready, just click the cog icon and you can go through this to export your content as markdown text or HTML.